what's up guys this is pro warriors in today's video we are going to show you how to set up the new nintendo switch emulator tozu on your pc and laptop if you are one of these people who want to enjoy nintendo switch on computer then this is the right tutorial for you it's better to be mentioned that emulation is a legal way of playing games that we already own let's turn our computer into a nintendo switch console please like and subscribe to our channel remember to hit the bell button Torzu is another fork of Yuzu which was the most popular open source Nintendo Switch emulator. Before downloading this emulator, please have a look at the minimum system requirements and whether it meets your machine's requirements or not. One more important requirement I would like to mention is that this emulator requires the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++. Go ahead and download the Microsoft Visual C++ and install it. Check description for the links. So first thing we are going to do is download and install the Torzu emulator on our computer. We will get the Torzu app from their GitHub page. If you can find the download option, you can join our Discord server. I have given the invitation link in the description. Currently, the Torzu emulator is available on on Android, Linux, Mac OS as well as Windows operating system. So I also suggest you to try on your Android device. Now I'm going to be installing the Torzu emulator on my Windows machine. So I'm just going to click on the Torzu Windows button here. It will immediately start downloading the JIF file. Once the download finishes, we need to extract the file because it comes in a JIF. If you don't have an extract on your PC, you can download 7-zip which is a reliable and free zip extractor. Let's right click on the file, go to the 7-zip and extract the Torzo Windows zip. Once it's done extracting, we will get the folder containing all the extracted files. Now delete the zip file from your desktop then double click or open the newly extracted folder. Inside this folder, we will find an executable file with a unique icon which which is torzu.exe file. Before we are going to launch the torzu emulator, we need the three elements that are needed to run torzu. I have already managed these elements. We need the product keys, firmwares, and Nintendo Switch games. Let's go ahead and just double click on the torzu.exe to launch the emulator. When you first launch the torzu emulator, it will say encryption keys are missing. Without these keys, Torzu won't let you play any games. No need to worry about this warning because we are going to install our keys. So our first step is to install product keys. As I said before, I have already owned my product keys. You might be wondering where I find this case. Just search on Google. The file must be in a GIF format. So unzip it, then delete the GIF file and open the extracted folder. Here you can see two files, product keys and title keys. Now go to the Torzu emulator and open the file option which is at the top left corner and then open Torzu folder. Open the keys folder and here you have to paste both keys. Copy or cut product and title keys and paste them into the keys folder of Torzu emulator. Now that we are going to install firmware, this file is also something we need to arrange ourselves. Now you might be wondering where I get this firmware for this emulator. Again I'm saying just google it. If you don't understand then join our discord server. After managing the firmware, we have to extract that file and then delete the zip file. To install firmware, go back to the file and open Tozo folder, then open the NAND folder, then open system folder and then contents in the last open registered folder. Here we have to paste the firmware files. Mark everything by clicking Ctrl plus A key on the keyboard, you can drag 
or copy and paste all the files into the registered folder. The initial step of the emulator is complete. Let's add games on the Torzo emulator. To add games, double click on the add new folder and it will open your file manager. Just go to the folder where you have stored Nintendo Switch games you have owned. Make sure the file is in correct format. This emulator supports NSP or XCI format. After selecting the folder, click on open button and your game should display in the game library. Here we are almost ready to launch a game but there are a couple of things we still need to do. Go to the emulation at the top bar then go down to configuration. The very first thing we are going to do is go into the general settings where you will see hotkeys. If you want to know your options for your keyboard then go ahead and take a look. Here other options are not important so switch to the system. Here you can set your region, language, time zone etc. You can set RAM up to 8GB but I recommend using 6GB of RAM. One more important option is to disable the limit speed percentage to use the maximum resources. Under the option of CPU, always set accuracy to auto to avoid unwanted errors. Let's jump to the graphics option. I find that Vulkan is the best API on an Nvidia or AMD graphics card. They are also OpenGL which you can use if you wish. If you would like to change the screen ratio there is an expect ratio you can also increase or decrease the resolution up to 8k but i suggest using the native resolution of your monitor to avoid crashes or bugs let's go over to the advanced settings the accuracy level indicates quality of the graphics if you start playing some games with this emulator and it seems that your games are shuttering come back to the advanced first graphics settings turn your accuracy level from high to normal but that's only if you encounter any issues while playing a game let's go down to controls you can see player 1 2 3 are actually for different controllers the default control method is set to keyboard if you want to change the keys just put your desired key and the controls but i found the default keys to be perfect if you have a controller just connect to your machine you can select it by using input device here make sure that the control method is in docked mode when you are all done with that go ahead and click on the save button now back to the input let's launch the game and play it you can see i'm playing the legends of Zelda: tears of the kingdom is now running on tozo emulator if you have a look here it's running at full speed graphics quality is amazing with decent frame rates. Torzu is still under development. Torzu has a long way to go and I hope in the future this emulator can run most recent and highly configured games. That's it guys. See you in the next video. Take care.